The chief climatologist of the U.S. Geological Survey, Dr. Ethan Trowbridge, is alerting the world to the approach of a stellar system governed by an obscure, nemesis, and its orbiting planets. Ethan says powerful hurricanes and earthquakes and the resulting increase in volcanic eruptions are the result of the gravitational and magnetic influence of Nibiru. Dr. Trowbridge says that Nibiru is producing heat on our planet and the effects are those we are living on Earth. The U.S. Geological Survey refuses to address the existence of at least seven additional fractures in the Earth's lithosphere. More importantly, it eludes the explanation of the root cause of radical changes across the planet. The front of the electromagnetic wave of Nibiru and its gravitational attraction are literally breaking our planet, says Dr. Trowbridge climatologist of the USGS. For example, last month a wave of seismic shear created a giant fracture in Africa. It was as if a giant hinge had suddenly opened, leaving a huge crack on Earth. Despite not receiving almost any media coverage, the event swallowed part of a major highway and moved hundreds of Kenyans near the epicenter of the event. Most scientists say there is nothing to fear and it will take tens of millions of years for Africa to split into two. But Dr. Trowbridge holds differently what could happen in Africa. These arrogant scientists group them in two groups. Who knows Nibiru and who does not? Most people who do not speak for fear of being excluded from the scientific community and those who do not cannot include Nibiru in the equation. Nibiru is exerting tremendous stress on our planet, we may not hear it, but the Earth feels it. Nibiru is already generating a geophysical change effect, as evidenced by the position of the Sun, but now this frictional effect causes the formation of new subduction zones. Africa is just an example. He says that the recent series of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in Hawaii, Guatemala and other parts of the world are examples par excellence of the influence of Nibiru in our already fragile planet. The persistent warming of the Earth's crust, combined with intense gravimetric vortexes generated a planar formation beneath Mount Kilauea, a catalyst for earthquakes and unprecedented volcanic eruptions. Similar events also largely ignored by the main news, are occurring in South America and Japan, said Trowbridge. What we are seeing now is just the tip of the iceberg. The overall picture seems sad and at any moment, Yellowstone could explode unexpectedly like Mount Kilauea did. It will be a disaster that no one cannot ignore. Stress is accumulating under the entire planet and once a certain threshold is reached, everything will collapse. Even the mantle is eroding. The USGS has known it since 1983 and is still colluding with other agencies to hide potentially dangerous data from the public, as well as information about Nibiru. In addition, he said that the USGS habitually falsifies data on its geological maps accessible to the public to prevent viewers from understanding threats to the earthly and cosmic extension that endanger the planet. In the last year there has been an exponential increase in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, in addition to an increase in continental cracks in Africa and seismic instability that has been recorded below six states not historically known for seismic activity, examples include Florida, North Dakota, and Michigan. Only the presence of an exotic variable, in this case Nibiru, satisfactorily explains the exponential increase in seismic instability, volcanism, the increase in cracks, fissures and other geoscientific aberrations. Finally. Trowbridge said that the recent magnetic anomalies recorded by a fleet of satellites, explains the influence of the second nemesis star system on the outskirts of our cosmic garden. <laughs>